What do you like about Orchard? I mean, there's guys that have an uncanny ability to get to the quarterback. Is he that type? He is, and it's it's his you know his college production. It's it just jumps out at you it, that uh, as you go through this process. Sometimes he, it, it gets very complicated with the numbers and the statistics and the measurables. And, and uh, you know, we have a saying that the best, the best uh, predictor of future success is past success. And this is a guy that, that has a knack. He can, he can find a quarterback. Um, and that, that was a, it was a guy that we've had our eye on for, for a long time throughout this process. And uh, very excited for, uh, for him to become a Cleveland Brown. What changed with him from junior to senior year? I mean, that went from like three and a half to 18 and a half. Um, you know, when you watch the tape, the player utilization is a big part of it. Um, he was not a guy that had his hand on the ground a lot. I mean, even you go back and watch the tape this past year, um, they moved the kid all over the place. I mean, he played stacked. He played Sam. He played, he played everywhere. So I think it was the ability for him to not be pegged in one spot and move around and kind of use his skill set against a variety of people. And um, you can see the kid's got all the tools to uh, have success. We're always looking for that hybrid type outside backer, uh, and, and I don't think you can have enough pass rushers. Especially you need you need ones that are fresh in the in the uh, in the fourth quarter when you can rotate guys and roll them through and, and move them around. And sometimes you put them in coverage, and sometimes you, you rush them inside, you rush them outside. Uh, yeah, I, I just think that that causes a lot of problems for uh, for an offense. And, and he has a skill set that that right from the beginning when we when we watched him that. Uh, I think we were we were instantly drawn to him.